Hello everybody, um, just a quick, quick video. Uh, I've been asked uh, from some people about my community um, files for Microsoft Flight Simulator and how I organize mine. As most of you know, uh, this is pretty much how your community folder will look like. Um, some may have less, some may have more, but it, it can get messy. Now what I've done is I have gone in and made a separate folder in my computer and uh, organized everything from utilities, sceneries, uh, liveries, aircraft, and some other bits and bobs. And what you can then do is an add-on linker, which uh, a link will be below. Uh, you can organize everything and have it all nice and laid out like this. Uh, so under liveries, I've got, the, for example, the fly-by-wire. There's another folder in there, and there's all the liveries that I'm currently using for it. Super nice. Also, if you ever need to uninstall Microsoft Flight Simulator, or there's a major update, then they recommend to uh, remove all your, your add-ons in your community folder. All you have to do in here is quite literally just disable the add-ons. That's it, and they've all been disabled. So now if I go into my community folder, as you can see, they've all gone. The only exception in here is some stuff through Orbex and Navigraph and uh, some aircraft I bought off the uh, store. Uh, but minus that, everything else, I just stick in here. And then once I'm ready again, if I show you this, if we go and have that there like so, and bring this up, if you watch the forward and the right, and if I enable all, there they are. And it just links everything directly in here, and it works like an absolute charm. So quite literally, all you need to do is go on to flightsim.to, download the Microsoft add-on linker, uh, all links will be below and you install it, well, you don't even install it, my mistake, you go onto your computer, anywhere, it doesn't matter where, make a folder somewhere, uh, so in mine, mine's in Flying Brain, and then if I go into here, and then I've got add-ons, so I've got some other bits and bobs for Microsoft Flight Sim, uh, and I've just simply made a folder called add-ons, and then a folder for add-on manager, and if I go into there, there, this is the application you download, there's the application itself, you always have to run it in admin mode, and once it's loaded, you'll be greeted with this. You just go through some basic setup tutorials that it will walk you through. And you just tell it where your community folder is. Uh, it's as simple as that. It, it really is nice and easy. Uh, so again, just a very, very quick video on what I do and how I process this. So within here, um, the add-ons folder, I then create different folders for aircraft. So there's the aircraft I'm using. Uh, liveries, again, I break this down to individual aircraft, so they've got the Piper Arrows, the RGA, Fly-by-Wire, the Sturman, and then I've, I've even got my Orbex scenery to come into straight into here as well, which is really nice, and utilities uh, that you can download, along with some uh, scenery you can download off, off uh, offline, for example, like sim.to. Uh, if you want to know what add-ons that I am using um, I on my website I've literally just got a uh, link here which will be below um, and so for example better push back uh, you just simply click on that and it'll take you directly to the add-on uh, the only the exception there is the Orbex stuff because it's on the Orbex uh, central um, application they've got on the PC but that's it, that's literally it, and it's that simple, and it's that nice, it's that easy. I've been asked a few times how I've organized mine, what I do for mine, etc., and that is it in a nutshell. Just a nice, clean, simple process, as you saw, if you need to reinstall Microsoft Flight Sim, or if there's a major, major update and they recommend to get rid of everything in the community folder, all you have to do is literally load this up and disable all. And it gets rid of everything, you can then update, you can reinstall, or if you reinstall it, you just tell this where the community folder is again and just enable your add-ons. and There they are. And it just keeps everything really nice and sleek. Because there's one thing about Microsoft Flight Sim I don't like compared to, for example, uh, X-Plane 11, is this community folder can become a mess. And if you just keep dumping stuff in here and then you're looking for something specific or it's broken, it doesn't work with the current update and you have to remove it and you're like, well, where the hell is it? etc etc this way it is just nice and easy all right that's it and thanks for tuning in <laughs> bye